beams are horizontal members that support vertical loads. They are mainly used to support floors in buildings and decks in bridges. Imagine you have a simple wooden beam like the ones you might see in a playground or on a bridge. Beams are used to support weight like people walking on a bridge or a heavy load on a shelf. Beam reactions involve two main forces, support reactions and load reactions. When a beam carries weight, it pushes back against the weight through support reactions which come from whatever is holding the beam up. At the same time, the weight itself exerts a load reaction, pushing the beam down. Engineers use these reactions to design structures that can handle heavy loads safely and stay stable. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London University. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. I want you to take away one key concept from this lecture. There are three kinds of supports. A fixed support or a rigid support is firmly fixed at the end. It cannot move in vertical direction. It cannot move in horizontal direction. It cannot rotate. It means it has three reactions, vertical, horizontal and resisting moment. A pin support, on the other hand, it cannot move in vertical direction, it cannot move in horizontal direction, but if I apply loading, it can rotate. It means that it has two reactions, horizontal and vertical reaction. A roller support, on the other hand, is like having this ruler on a pen and it cannot move in vertical direction. It can, however, rotate and it can move in horizontal direction. It means that there is only one reaction, which is a vertical reaction. In order to solve any structure, we will apply these three equilibrium equations. If you know these three equations, you can pretty much analyze and design any structural system. The summation of horizontal forces equal to zero, summation of vertical forces equal to zero, and summation of moments equal to zero. These are three equilibrium equations if you are analyzing a structure in two dimensions. In case of three dimensions, you will have six equilibrium equations, summation of forces in x, y and z direction equal to zero, summation of moments in x, y and z equal to zero. Let's take this example. We have a six meter beam where we have a central point load of 20 kN. We have to determine reactions at A and B. How does 20 kN look like? Roughly one kN will look like me walking on the floor. One kN is equal to 100 kg. My weight is not 100 kg. Roughly, we can say a person walking is one kN. If you are into cars, then you will like this Lamborghini Euros SUV. It weighs approximately two tons or 20 kN. So 20 kN is applied over six meters at a single point. On the left side, we have a pin support. Pin support will have two reactions, horizontal and vertical. And on right side at B, we have roller support. A roller support will have only one reaction. That is a vertical reaction. Let us apply all three equilibrium equations to find out these reactions. Now you guessed it right that this is a very simple example. If it is 20 kN, if it is applied at the center of the beam, then what would be reactions? Of course, it would be 10 kN on each support. It will be divided equally. Then what's the point of carrying out these calculations? The reason is that if you had complex example, if you had many loads at many different positions, then you can use these principles to work out reactions. Upward forces are positive, rightward forces are positive, and clockwise moments are positive. This is the sign convention which I will use. First, horizontal forces equal to zero. So we have HA reaction. We just have only one reaction in horizontal direction, and we have no horizontal load applied on this beam. Then you guessed it right, horizontal reaction is going to be zero. So HA plus zero, this will lead me HA equal to zero, summation of vertical forces equal to zero. Now, how many vertical forces are there? Point load, which is 20 kN. The other two loads are these two reactions. So VA plus VB, because VA and VB, they are acting in upward direction. That's why they are positive. 
20 kN is acting in downward direction and downward is negative. So that's why we say Va plus Vb minus 20 is equal to zero. We can write it as Va plus Vb equal to 20 kN if we bring 20 kN on the other side of the equation or add and subtract 20 from both sides of the equation, we will get Va plus Vb equal to 20 kN. Solution one is that we work out moment at a certain point and here we have decided to work out moment at a moment is equal to force times distance we will have va now because we are finding out moment at a there is no perpendicular distance so when there is no perpendicular distance it will not create any moment and same as the case with ha we have no distance between ha and a it is the same point so that's why vertical distance is going to be zero on the other hand, with 20 kN, the distance is 3 meters. So that's why we have 20 times 3. But here it is positive. The reason is that with respect to A, this will create a clockwise moment. And clockwise moment is positive. VB here is upward force. And with respect to A, it is creating anti-clockwise moment. Anti-clockwise is negative. And the distance between VB, this point, and A is 6. So that's why we multiply it with 6. And negative sign is because of anti-clockwise moment. I simplify it. If I bring it on the other side of the equation, I will have VB times 6. And 20 times 3 is 60. So 60 over 6, I will get 10 kN. If it is 20 kN central point load, it will be applied equally at both supports if vb is 10 kN, va is going to be 10 as well summation of vertical forces is 20 if we put value of vb over here we will get va equal to 10 kN, vb equal to 10 kN. so in that way we found out both reactions this is one method another method is we work out summation of ma and summation of mb from there we work out both reactions and then we use summation of vertical forces to verify what we get. The so summation of MA, I did little earlier, so I will not repeat it. It will give me VB equal to 10 kN. Now, how about summation of MB? I will have VA times 6, and it is creating clockwise moment with respect to B, so that is why it is positive. HA times 0, HA is a horizontal force. It does not have any perpendicular distance. 20 times 3, this loading is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to B, so that's why it's negative. And VB times 0, it is the same point, so that's the reason we multiply it with 0. Now from here, if I bring it on the other side of the equation, it is going to be positive and 60 divided by 6, I get 10 kN. Now I have got value of VA vertical reaction at A and I've got value of VB vertical reaction at B. But how do I know that if these values are right or wrong? That's where verification comes. So summation of Fy equal to zero, it means that VA plus VB, two upward forces are positive minus downward force because it's downward is equal to zero. VA and VB, they are 10. If I put these values, I get zero equal to zero. This means that whatever reactions I've got, they are absolutely fine. So the final answers will be horizontal reaction is zero because there is no horizontal load applied. Vertical reactions are 10 kN at A and B. Let me go through another example with the distributed load. Now we have length of the beam as 4 meters. The intensity is equal to 5 kN per meter. How does 5 kN look like? Renault Twizy, it only weighs 5 kN, 0.5 tons or roughly 500 kg is a single person's car. So this is placed at each meter of the beam. Reactions are two reactions for pin support and one reaction for roller support. How do we work out total load? We simply multiply intensity with the length. So intensity is 5, length is 4, we get 20 kN. That is our total load. Sign convention is the same. Summation of horizontal forces equal to 0. We don't have any horizontal force. It means that HA is equal to 0. 
summation of vertical forces equal to zero we have va plus vb minus 20 that is the total load so we have to put total load not just intensity because units of va and vb they are in kilonewton total load will be in kilonewton as well va plus vb is equal to 20 kilonewton solution one we have to work out moment so moment at a VA times zero, HA times zero, because there is no perpendicular distance. This 20 kilonewton times distance from 20 kilonewton to A is two. And this is creating a clockwise moment. That's the reason it is positive. VB times four is creating anti-clockwise moment. So anti-clockwise moment is negative. If I simplify it, I get VB as 10 kilonewton. VA plus VB is 20 kilonewton. If I put value of VB, I will get VA. It means that VA is 10 kilonewton, VB is 10 kilonewton. Other method is that I work out summation of moment at A and summation of moment at B equal to zero. And then I verify the reactions with the help of vertical load. This is the same thing as I worked out a little earlier. So I will not spend much time. VB is equal to 10 kilonewton. MB, on the other hand, I will have VA this reaction is creating a clockwise moment with respect to b the perpendicular distance between the force and support is four meters ha is not creating any moment because there is no perpendicular distance this total force 20 is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to b that is the reason we have negative 20 times 2 and VB is the position itself where we are finding summation of moment. So that's why it is zero. From here, we work out VA as 10 kilonewton. I have value of VA. I have value of VB. How do I know if these values are correct or not? This is where this verification comes. The summation of FY equal to zero. FY means VA plus VB minus 20 equal to zero. I put value of VA and VB. I get total value as zero left side is equal to right side it means that reactions are fine these are the final answers ha equal to zero and va and vb they both are equal to 10 kilonewton thanks for watching this lecture today click on left side of the screen to watch another video relevant to this lecture click on right screen to watch full playlist on structural mechanics